Hey all, Binks here, and today we're finally playing with the mighty Thor herself, Jane Foster. Now, I chose not to play with Jane Foster for a while. I actually pulled her immediately from the Nexus events, but after kind of like assessing everything, seeing and digging deeper into the kind of gotcha mechanics that were in the Nexus events, I decided to boycott her and just not play her and not put her out there. Uh, and I also stopped spending any money into the game. But since then, Second Dinner and the team have done an amazing job of kind of making up for what happened. Uh, they're giving all the gold back for everything that happened in Nexus events, and everyone's going to be able to get Jane Foster. So hopefully you can utilize this deck yourself once you get her for free. Jane Foster is a 5 energy, 8 power with on reveal, draw all cards that cost 0 from your deck. So we have very few draw engines in uh, the game, and this is one that can draw a lot of cards. So. We have two different zero power cards in Wasp and Yellow Jacket. A Wasp is just a vanilla zero one. A Yellow Jacket is a zero two with on reveal afflict your other cards at this location with minus one power. Yellow Jacket you can maybe cut, but uh, I really wanted to try and get as much juice out of pulling these zero cost cards as I could. We're also utilizing Thor, uh, which works really well with Jane Foster. Uh, after you shuffle Mjolnir into your deck, Jane Foster is a great way to pull it out without having to sacrifice a top deck or you know taking a different spot out of your deck. Now, this deck works really well with Lockjaw because you have these zero cost cards that you can play into Lockjaw immediately. And also, Jane Foster can pop out and pull the zero cost cards out of your deck because you want to put the zero cost cards into Lockjaw to get better cards, but then you want to pull them out of your deck so your Jubilee and your other Lockjaw hits don't actually play them. So it's really cool how all these pieces synergize together. Uh, Jane Foster can be as much as a draw three in this deck, which is crazy. Like I said, very few draw mechanics in this. And uh, this deck just conducively works really well as a whole with the big payoff cards and our six drops and Dr. Doom, Giganto and the Infinite. And then it's kind of filled out with two two drops Koye to help buff our deck, which is really great in any Lockjaw deck, and Scorpion, which I think is just a fantastic card to hurt our opponent's hand. So definitely try this deck out if you get Jane Foster. I think it's really fun, and you can do some really good damage. As always, if you're enjoying this content, make sure to like the video. It really helps me out. If you're looking for more Marvel Snap content, you can definitely subscribe to the channel. I post here about every weekday. Uh, this month's going to be a little bit slow, and you can catch me live over at twitch.tv slash binks underscore place. Enjoy. District X always snap. I love Leader. I don't think it's a stupid card. It's my favorite card in the game. I haven't figured out what deck runs it, so I feel like it comes out of nowhere. That's the thing. It can go in any deck. Oh, this, this is a this is an enormous W. So I get to pull something big out of my own deck. Hopefully, draw something that I can play, and then I just get to like Black Bolt, Giganto, and Sinister London, and just play just play massive cards. Look at that crossbones. Um, yeah, I mean, I'll just Kazar. And Sinister London, because I, I have the space for it, right? And then a, a double upgrade of Black Hole is nasty. Jubilee's a bit spooky, but it can also be, like, horrible. <laughs> Shang-Chi killed my, <laughs> my crossbones, you <laughs> piece of garbage. Am I going to discard all their, all their cards out of their hand? Just take that. I suppose maybe I could have yellow jacketed middle there. So I don't get any uh, problems from playing it. Maybe I should have yellow jacketed and locked jar there. I just I'm just gonna keep playing giant cards. Don't don't kill my don't kill the big ones. Yeah, that's fine. That's also fine. Uh actually let me <laughs> GG's. Okay, this has to be a bot. Or a genius. 
Usually Scorpion first. I still don't know if that's the best on turn four. Maybe if they don't play a card on turn one, it's better. Do you want to hit at least four? I just, I just love Scorpion, my opponents. It's a good feeling. Not really going to have a Lockjaw lane, but I will have Thor into Doctor into Lady Foster into Doctor Doom. It just feels like it's it's just gonna be enough to do just about anything that I need. Okay though. Because I already have all the cards that I need. Luckily, I don't even have to play Lady Foster. Still, it's just an A-power a card, though. I don't know. I'm, I'm pretty damn confident right now that I'm going to win. I don't, I don't think it matters too much how many cards they play. Like, I'm just, I'm playing a lot of power this turn. Maybe I'm just, like, underestimating the Nakia Sarah synergy? I just feel like I'm, I'm, I'm doing a lot of things right now. It makes it very hard for my opponent to beat me. Ah, yes. A classic Limbo play. Scarlet Witch that actually helps me. I'm just gonna play a Giganto over there. I mean, they still have to do 8 power in middle and right to, to win. With one card each. I don't think they play that many high power cards, right? Like, this deck can just, like, pump out a lot of, um... It's pumping a lot of power. I snapped them, like, super early. I snapped them, like, turn two. They're just, uh, yeah, they're, I mean, they're just, they're, they're just hoping, hoping they can, uh, they can come back and beat me. I could have played, I could have played three more cards this turn. If I had the space. Opponent wasn't ready. I feel like they're just stalling. I feel like they're stalling, waiting for me to retreat. Be my guess. Slash, like, if I was them, what I would most likely be doing. Maybe just stalling, just stalling. You never know. I'm gonna try and win. They did win right. Can they win left too? Does that, does that help them or hurt them? I don't even know. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. There's a bunch of black bars across my screen. Ah, oh, we still won. Let's go. Victory. Like both Thor and Jane Foster are kind of trash. There's like Wave is one of the most unique <laughs> and powerful cards to ever get ever get printed in this game. Very interesting. It does suck in any of these lockjaw decks to just draw your <laughs> draw your enormous cards in your hand. It seems so hard to play them when they're at like full mana cost. Use like a whole turn. Play my Doctor Doom. It's BF. So we made him only use 50% of his um, Nakia, which is pretty good, in my opinion. I think anytime I can like Thor, Lady Foster, um, Mana Curve, that's just, that's just really good. Especially when I have a card like Doctor Doom behind it.
I think we don't have to be super cheeky about it. We just play Lady Foster here, which actually draws all three zero drops I have in my deck. So, so it brings my deck down to two cards. Which maybe I'll have to think about. Is that better? Like Lockjaw, one of those cards, than playing Doctor Doom? I don't know. It'll be hard to work out if it is. I just don't, I feel like my opponent's going to have a hard time playing six cards out of his hand. Unless he plays like a Sarah. Uh, I mean, he played four cards this turn. So that would probably make it a bit easier for him. Look at that, the three, the five energy draw three, eight, eight attack, pretty pot. Got my squirrel out of it, very nice of them. So how do we lose this game? It's probably the biggest question we have to wonder. So we have exactly two cards in our deck, which is infinite and jubilee so I, f I feel like it's actually better to do this wildly i think it's better to do that than play dr doom because if it if it hits infinite, then we get infinite, and if it hits Jubilee, then it gives me a fifty percent chance of drawing Jubilee. So it's a seventy, it's a seventy five percent chance of getting an infinite, which is twenty power. Or I can just take the Doctor Doom, which is a guaranteed amount of power, though. Dude, what do I do? I'm gonna take the Doctor Doom. I'm gonna be a coward. I'm going to fill my whole board though. It's going to be sweet. I feel I feel pretty confident about us pulling the dub out. I think that was the right play. Cuz we needed to beat Baxter building and we needed the Doombot to do so. The infinite could have messed that up. Look at that. Enormous brain energy. Love to see it. Central Park. Hurts Lockjaw a little bit, but not the worst thing in the world. Murder World is very good for that. I think we Scorpion because they skipped turn one. To get the full five power hit on Scorpion. Honestly, anytime I get a, a full five power hit on Scorpion. Hmm. So he has to play with my cards. And I Scorpion his whole hand. I just, I can't really play this Okoye. I can also make him draw Mjolnir. I'm going to snap. I think I'm in a much better position here. And like Shang-Chi Okoye in turn six, if I don't want a, a Giganto. I feel like with Weird World, I get the better of it. Ooh, they knock you back though. That is a way that that definitely does not work for me. And I can't really Okoye my own deck. It's just, it, it doesn't do anything for me. And I still want to hold this Wasp. There's no, no real reason to play it anytime soon. The Mjolnir can make them lose a draw. The Rock Slide is terrible for them, by the way. The Rock Slide makes them draw rocks. That's actually like uh, horrific for them to, to be playing that. I think I do want a magic. No, but I don't want a magic there. I want a magic middle. I think I want a magic because I have Giganto and a pretty good play on like turn six. And I also like them to keep drawing their uh, rocks and stuff that they put in my deck. Uh, sorry if that freezes things a little bit. Okay. Let's 
Get a Giganto left and vibe. Might be right to be snapping here. Can't really tell. I mean, they're up by one power, but they do have the Sarah buff out. But if they play any big cards, I can just target them with Shang-Chi next turn. They had Sarah. They had Steve? They had Jubilee. Very interesting. Well, I'm, I mean, I can Shang-Chi down that Red Skull. Five cards in hand? So I feel like shang chi the Red Skull is pretty disgusting. Why is this buff? It's buff because of the Red Skull. So I'll get rid of one, two power from them. They also play first, so I think the Killmonger is actually really good. I have Wasp out here on the left. Just give me a little bit more power in Central Park. This will be seven. It's two. I'm going to play the Wasp right. Hopefully they play some one cost cards here. I don't know if they have any in their deck. Very interesting. Very interesting game. Dr. Doom. I think we have enough still to win. It's gonna be really close though. We have eight and we're we're gonna have seven. And absolutely heartbreaking. We're gonna have seven to their eight over there. Defeat. I feel like that was the right play. The right way to play through that game, though. Very close. Great game. Turn two, Koye's great. Or if we can get into Jane Foster, obviously very good. I think I play a Koye. I do this. Go a little hard on the Hala. I, I put like four power out there. And I do lose a zero power card. But I also am not putting a zero power card into the deck. Could be bad. I kind of like the I kind of like the idea of it. Could Jubilee or Thor here? I got Thor. I don't think he cares about Hala, but I need to care about Hala. Otherwise, I will lose. I will lose my cards. So you can just vibe, and then um, and know this Colossus won't die. Another Thor deck. Gotta give him a thumbs up. I think Giganto left is definitely the way to go. And actually, now that I'm looking at this, I definitely Jubilee and Giganto left, and then just Mjolnir. I I I think I beat him. I think I beat him all day. I don't think he's beat me. I don't think he's beat me on Hala. I don't think he's gonna beat me on Hellfire Club. I think we'll be way ahead. Like we don't we don't care about that. We we're gonna lose there anyway. Whether you wanted me to or not. So we go up 15 here, and then we go up six, seven here. Feel super comfortable. We feel super comfortable. Oh yeah, we're murdering you on Hellfire Club. Is leader? <laughs> Does leader beat us? Oh no. Okay, magic probably also doesn't beat us. But it does it does give me some spooks. They can play 14 power in one card. Can't imagine, right? There's no way. There's no way they have 14 power on one card. Not a chance. Oh no! I always forget that Shang-Chi exists. 
Why does that card work? GG's. Defeat. Asgard is pretty good if I get block drawn the next two draws. But having all my big cards and all my zero cost cards and only having my middle cost cards in the deck is like the exact opposite thing that, <laughs> that this deck wants to do. We did do the thing that I wanted the deck to do, which is pretty good. Wind, aid my hand. Feel pretty positive about the play that I made. Pretty good. I am. I th am. This needs to be a big card though, because this could actually backfire like crazy <laughs> and be a not big card at all. God damn. <laughs> all right well actually it's it's kind of fine because i can doctor doom i can doctor doom eventually i could doctor doom and win flooding so even though it seems really bad it's not that bad so now i i thor on the right i snap back like a giga chat I, uh, I, <laughs> I, I play Thor to get the wasp out of the deck. You, you can't. That's fine though. That's actually fine. Actually totally fine. Cause my, my goal is to play Dr. Doom and it doesn't matter where I play it. Actually, actually totally cool. I, I in fact prefer what happened. Un unreal to to. Oh no. Okay, that's that's fine. The Doctor Doom still wins his middle and right. Oh. Victory. That's a good game right there. Watch that one too.